friends, welcome to Inside Text. This is a platform to learn about power transmission elements and its control system. So friends, in today's video, continuing the series of substation control panel equipment, today we are going to learn about trip neutral closed switch. Trip neutral and closed switch is basically associated with the circuit breaker, but this kind of switch is provided on the control panel inside the control room. So in today's video, we are going to see actually how TNC switch is and how the electrical wiring is done and also let us understand its electrical diagram. So uh, let's move on towards TNC switch. So as friends is shown over here, there is a TNC switch. Okay, this is a TNC switch, how it looks inside the panel, inside the control room. So how the contacts of this TNC switch are. So you can see that all these contacts are NO contacts. NO that is normally open. So whenever we move the handle towards either trip or close, this contacts will get closed and it will be in C. So one important thing to understand is that in normal condition, the TNC switch is always in the neutral position. So now let us see what happens when we close this switch. Okay, see now when you close this switch, you can see that this NO contacts, as the switch is closed, this NO contacts are now closed. Now they become NC contacts, right? And then once you bring back this switch from close to neutral position, See, as now it moves to neutral position, what happens is this NC contacts now again become NO contact. Okay, but as you can see, there is third contact. This contact is used for auto reclosing mode. I will explain in the video further the importance of this auto reclosing mode. You can see that even after closing, when we come back to neutral, this is NC. It has not become NO contact. Okay, now let us understand what happens when we move the switch towards the trip position. We move this towards the trip side. Okay, so as we move towards the trip side, you can see that this contacts have moved towards trip position. Okay, now when they have moved towards trip position, this NO now becomes in C contact it is closed but you observe that this auto reclose contact is now open when we have moved our switch towards the trip position okay now let us bring the switch back towards the neutral position See, when you bring it back towards the neutral position this contacts are now again normally open they are now uh, no contacts again and you can see this has also remained the no contact as it is so now let us see one video uh, showing how actual tnc switches okay and how it operates so now let's move on towards the video so friends, as you can see over here is a trip neutral and closed switch that is for breaker control switch. Using the handle, we can move it towards the trip position, bring it back to the neutral position and again we can move it towards the closed position and it will come back again to the neutral position. So neutral position is its normal position. In normal conditions, it will always be neutral position. On the back side, as you can observe, there are this NO contacts that we discussed earlier. Okay, so this NO contacts will be there for each, each three. That means it will be for trip, for neutral and for closed condition. Okay. So now friends, let us move on towards the electrical diagram of the TNC switch. Uh, for the close context, we will provide a positive supply from the panel itself. The other end of this contact is given to the closing coil inside the circuit breaker. 
Similarly, for trip, we will give positive supply to this contact from the panel itself and the other end of the contact is given to the breaker tripping coil, tripping coil inside the breaker. Okay. And similarly, some wiring is required for the auto reclose also. We will give positive supply at one end, one contact and towards the other contact. This will be connected to the auxiliary switch. In auxiliary switch, there will be one NC contact to that contact. The auto reclose is connected. Okay. I will explain how this connection is done further. Okay. So let's now see inside the breaker where these connections are made. See, inside the, inside the circuit breaker, there is a tripping circuit where we have at terminal number 9, remote trip 1. Okay, so from there we will connect a wire towards this contact, okay, for trip in the TNC switch and for the closing. We will connect to remote close in the closing circuit. Remote close in the closing circuit of a circuit breaker. So that is how the trip and the close circuits are connected to the circuit breaker. Okay. Now coming to this auto reclose switch. That we have to connect with the auxiliary switch having NC contact. NC contact that is normally close contact when the circuit breaker is when the circuit breaker is open okay when the circuit breaker is open this auxiliary switch will remain closed okay then other end end of this is connected towards auto trip led and again this led is inside the control room on the control panel okay so we'll extend this from 40 number terminal a wire towards the led inside the control room panel so now let us understand what is the importance of auto trip function over here and what is the importance of this auto trip LED. So as you, I explained earlier in this video, whenever we close the circuit breaker, whenever I close the circuit breaker, this NO context will be NC context and this contact will also be NC contact. But due to some mal operation or due to some problem or some issue in the closing circuit, actually the circuit breaker is not closed. Okay. Whenever that kind of case may happen. Okay. Due to some malfunction, you are from the control panel, you are closing this through TNC switch, you are closing this circuit breaker. But due to some problem, some issue, some mal operation, the breaker outside in the switch yard is not closed. So this auto trip LED saves you in that kind of situation. How it does that is, see, whenever you whenever you move the TNC switch towards the close side, this uh, will be NC now. It will be closed. So what will happen? This positive will reach towards over here. And when actually the breaker is not closed, it is open. So this will remain closed. And due to this, this positive is reaching over here and the LED inside the panel will glow. That indicates, that indicates auto trip LED indicates, although you have closed the switch from the control panel, but inside the, on the switch yard, the breaker is still open. So whenever you get this kind of LED glowing in the panel, that means there is some issue and the breaker is still open. It has not actually closed. Right, so this is a warning indication basically that there is some issue in the closing circuit. So now let us see in the normal situation what will happen. In the normal situation, whenever you close, this will get closed, okay. But because the circuit breaker is now closed, this will become NO, okay. This switch, auxiliary switch will become NO because now the breaker is actually closed. So this becomes NO. So my positive will not reach over this LED and this LED will not glow on the panel inside the control room. Right? So that is basic indication. Auto trip is basic indication which indicates if there is any malfunction or if my breaker is not actually closed inside. Okay? So that's the importance of auto trip and that is all about the TNC switch and its importance in the control panel.
okay i hope you have understood some basic concepts till now and that's all for today's video guys so please let us know what you want to learn in the comments section below and keep watching our video thank you